we have a divide. This time, we are going to do a divided fraction. You got it, boys? Yes. Is that easy? Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Hope everyone is fine. Today, my topic is going to be about multiplying and dividing fraction. Multiplication is the easy one. Everyone can do it straight away. But division, you need to work that carefully because in division, you need to find the reciprocal first and then you need to change the sign to a multiplication. So please watch carefully up to the end. Then don't miss even a single part of it. Come on, let's begin. Okay, so multiplying and dividing fraction. There are two sums given on the board. This one, I'm going to show you how to do this on the next one. One of my um, students is going to do that. Okay, ready boys? Yes, miss. Okay, so the first one, for the multiplication fraction, you don't need to have a common denominator. We just have to multiply it or you can simplify, you divide it and then you multiply it. Okay, mom. Okay, so the first thing, do you have a whole number which is 28, which is nothing but 28 over 1. So you may get confused why there is, this one has like a, like in a fraction, this one has doesn't have a fraction. So you don't need to worry, it's just 28 over 1. And then you times this and you write this number. So if you see here, you, for example, if, I, if you give like a bigger number here, maybe 105 and 25, it's very hard to multiply. So what you can do is you can simplify as much as you can here and then you multiply. So you can see here you have a 28 and you have a 4. So is that 4 goes how many times in 28? Anyone? Oh, it's 7. So 4 goes 1 times in this and then 7 times. So now you don't have a bigger number to multiply. You just have 7 times 3 which is 21. 21. And you have 1 and 1 which is nothing but a 1. You don't need to write this. We can just write as it is as 21. So it's easy if you strike or find what else you can strike out in this number and then you multiply which will be easy for you because if you see this number you have a bigger number boys so instead of that you need to simplify and then multiply okay come on Dinesh can you I'm going to pick somebody which is Dinesh is going to do this for me because he's always quiet miss because of this subject for new for me so one of my friend will be uh, give answer. Okay. Okay. So. So you need uh, to watch carefully. Okay. Yes. Maybe. So you can do cross multiplication to so all of you, those. Okay. So five goes into fifteen three times. So this will be one, three, and then two goes eight times into sixteen. Okay. And therefore, it will be one times one. One times so one is one. one. Good. One and then eight times three is twenty-four. So, so easy. It's very easy. Answer. So it's very easy. So if whenever you want to just strike out, simplify what all the numbers inside, and then if you can't do any any kind of crossing over, you just have to times it. You got it, boys? Yes. Is that easy? Yeah. Okay. Now this is easy because this one doesn't have a mixed number. Now we I'm going to show you how to do with the mixed number. Oh no! No, it's not going to be hard. It's the same thing. You need to change it to an improper and then do it. Okay, mom. So now you see here you have a mixed number and that's a normal fraction. And the next one both has mixed number. I'll come to that one. First I'm going to do this. So if you watch this one, then you can do the next one. So the same thing when you have a mixed number, you times it, you add them up. So, which is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 add 3 is 15 over the 4. And then times, you just have to bring as it is. So, now if you see here, you can cross multiply 2 and 4. So, you can, how many times 2 goes in 2 is 1. And this one by 2. Now, we have 5. So, you can divide 5 over 5 with nothing but 1. And then, how many times 5 goes in 15 is 3. So now we got 3 here, we got 1 here, we got 2 here, but now we just have to multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2. So if you see this, we have a numerator, a bigger number, a smaller number. 
you need to bring this to a simplest form which is back to your mixed number so how many times two goes in three is nothing but one time and then your reminder is one so you need to write like this so because if they ask you an exam you need to multiply and bring it to the simplest term that means we need to sim bring it back to the simplest form if they don't ask you even if you do that it's not going to be wrong you can still do it okay next one okay let me ask Ravi can you do this for me so okay. tell me what's the first thing so you have to times and then add four of them and then all you gotta do is just do four times nine which is 36 plus four is 40 over nine and then times 17 over 10 because 1 times 10 is 10 plus 7, 17 over 10. Then you can cross multiply 10 and 40, so 10 goes 4. And then that's it. So, that so you have to do 4 times 17 to 68. So this one is because we can't simplify, that's why it's going to multiply 4 and times 17, which is 68. Which is 68 over 9 times, which is also known as 9. 9. So can we do this to a simplest term? Yes, we can change to a mixed one. So we can 9 goes 7 times into 68. So 9 goes 7 times in 68. So 63. So 68 equals 63. 5 would be the remainder. So you put that on the top and then divide by numerator 9. 9. Excellent, Ravi. Keep it up. Thank you. So this time... We are going to do a dividing fraction. So if you see there is a division sign. We need to first find the reciprocal for the next this number. And then you change your sign to multiplication. So for example, let me give you what is reciprocal means. If I have a 5. So that means it's nothing but 5 over 1. So what is the reciprocal for 5 over 1 is nothing but 1 over 5. Okay. So you need to think this concept. So the same thing, whatever we have here, we need to find the reciprocal and then put the terms. I'm going to show you now. Boys, can you listen carefully? So we need to write 2 over 5 and then you need to find the reciprocal which will become 3 over the 2 and you need to change the sign to multiply and then you write 3 over the 2. So that will be easy for you after you do did the same way in multiplication fraction, you can just do it. So you can just strike out. 2 goes one time and again one time. So we can't cross multiply anything or you can't cross anything here. So your answer is going to be 3 over the 5. Hope you're clear? Yes, mom. Okay. So the next one, um, who can I ask is, you can ask Robert, okay. That's fine. Robert, can you answer this? What do we need to do first because we have a divide here? Think yeah. about what I wrote for the reciprocal. You have to write the reciprocal for the second fraction. Okay. So it'll be 10 over 9. So the reciprocal oh. of the ten, 9 over 10 will become... 10 over 9, but then you have to change the division sign to the multiplication. And so... so is there you any... can, of course, multiply 3 and 9. So, so that'll be 1 and 3. three. You can also cross multiply, but not fully. So you can divide both of them by 2. And so that'll be 2, two. and then that'll be 5. So now everything's done, so you have to do 1 times 5, which is 5, over 2 times 3, which is 6. Yes, so well done. Up. Excellent, Robert. Thank you. Okay, this one is a mixed number, and this one has only one whole number. So the same way we need to do to convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So we need to do first is times this and add this. Which will be 7 times 2, 14. 14 add 3, 17 over the 7. And I'm, I'm not going to change anything now. This is nothing but 3 over 1. So now we need to find the reciprocal for the second one, which is 3 over the 1, which will become 1 over 3. So I'm going to write the first number as it is. When you do the reciprocal of this, you need to change straight away your divide to multiplication. And then you write down the reciprocal for the second number. So now I don't think we can cross um, multiply or sorry cross divide anything here. So my answer is going to be 17 over 21. 
So we can't simplify or we can't do to bring it back to a simplest term to a mixed number. So that's it for this. So the next one I'm going to ask Ezekiel to do this for me because we have both number as a mixed number. So what is the first thing Ezekiel? So first you have to times and add, times and add. So times and add, times and add. So therefore you've got to do force, four plus one is equal to five over four. You've got to divide 15 plus 1, 16 over 15. Okay. okay. And then all you've got to do is do 5 over 4, flip the sign times, and then you have to find reciprocal 16 over 15, which is 15 over 16, and just swap it around. So then you cannot do any cross multiplications. Therefore, 50 times 5 is equal to 75. So the one thing you want to say here in this sum and all, we don't have anything, we can't cross out anything here. So you see your bigger number. 5 times 15 you need to multiply you need to work out that 4 times 16 you need to work out that so what is when you multiply the top one what do you need to do 75 and then 16 times 4 is 64 64 so now you can change it to a mixed number good so all you're going to do is just check how many times 64 goes to 75 which is just once one and then 75 take away 64 is also known as 11 yeah then and then divide by the new rate 64 well done. Excellent, Ezekiel. Keep Thank it up. You. Thank you. So, hope you understood the multiplication and division fraction. So, remember that division fraction is you need to find the reciprocal and then change the sign to multiplication. So, please keep watching um, all my videos. All new uh, new topics will be coming for GCSE 11 plus and um, for primary um, school and even general topics for secondary. Um, so keep watching all the time support me um, please like share subscribe to my channel until I see you in my another video Maggie signing off from you bye please subscribe to my mom channel